Why do I even get ads on my own stream? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, uh, hey guys. Hey, long time no see chat. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Wow, I wonder, uh, <clears throat> wonder, wonder how you guys have been doing. <laughs> that was ages ago. Years, you could say. All right, let's, um, let's, let's, let's bring it back real quick. Yeah, you guys know what we're doing. You guys know what's up. Ah, oh, shoot, my um, me when my when my chat doesn't uh chat, not you guys. I mean the sidebar. There we go. Sorry, I had to get a drink. All right, what's uh what's popping, chat? What are you guys talking about? Is Corbett a furry? He gives furry vibes for real. I, I don't even I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> I would ask why. Like how I give out those vibes, but I don't know if I want to know. Also I need to uh do that. Why do I even have Discord? Okay. Uh, all right. That's because it's for audio. Forgot about that. Okay, whatever. All right. Anyway. Uh, yes. Uh, it requires two tabs in, tab ins, and two tab outs just to get my uh my chat to pop up on my second monitor. There we go. Perfect. All right. <sighs> okay. So 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 chat is discussing what persona I would have if I were a furry. Okay. Cool. Thanks, chat. Um. You'd be a coyote if you had a fursona. Okay. You would be a a mole? Okay, alright, we've... Okay, alright. <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, Betsy Misaraka. One of the countries of all time. We have to pretend, chat, remember, we have to pretend to be normal... ...for the newcomers, okay? How would you pronounce coyote? Man said coyote. Okay, shut up. It could be worse. I could call it a coyote. I've heard that before. Fine, coyote. Does that make you happier? Have I pleased the masses? Define normal. Um. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Quick chat. Uh, pretend that we that we weren't discussing this run for the past like hour and a half on a different stream pretend like this is all normal uh hi new people hi new and normal people you should continue watching the stream because we're we're all very normal here i promise okay uh, yeah we'll do that and that no current cults man these suck uh manpower recovery speed i don't care about unrest as for merchants one in Kilwa based or zanzibar uh and we have no range so we can't do anything else with the other one cool we can build up units, we have ships, neat, we can take land back, and we should. I have no money for anything other than maybe having people. We don't even get claims, do we? Nope, no claims, no cores, just cringe. Nice. So that means we should probably ally somebody, right? You're good enough. Um, ally you two, I guess, at some point. We need a spy network, we'll build one... Actually, that's a good question. Which of these provinces matters the most? Oh my god, dude. The entire island just sells slaves? That is insane. <laughs> dude. Oh my god. That's crazy. Hey, maybe one day we'll fix that. 
<laughs> yeah, who, who picked this trash tag? That's crazy. Wonder who could have done that. Um, okay, so this guy is 10, 14, plus 9, so that's 23, 28 development, and you're not 28 development. Okay, I want to kill this guy first then. We just can't afford any advisors, so that's whatever. Uh, we're gonna do the basic stuff, because I plan to expand quickly. Well, plan to expand. <laughs> I don't know how quickly that's gonna look, but, uh, whatever. Okay, right of council. Patronage of the arts, we'll give you that. You're chilling? Okay, nice. We'll give you, uh, you can have that. Okay, so the fetishist stuff, I'm not, like, too familiar with. Singular cult, I think, doubles the strength of the cult, removes stab loss on the death of a monarch, but disables other cults, and you can only swap them every 15 year, uh, 50 years. I think that's, like, okay for monarchies. But, you know, if we're playing Betsy Misaraka, we do have legitimacy. Um, and hence, of course, Republican tradition as part of our ideas. And in that case, I think I do want to go Republic. Probably. Republics are nice. I haven't seen a Madagascar run since DDR Jake's Imarina run, where the goal was to enslave Belgians? Pardon. <laughs> oh my god. Why this country doesn't have unique missions or what? It's because chat wanted it, okay? Don't, don't blame me. Don't blame me, blame chat. All right, the, the title says it by itself. The title tells you everything you need to know. There is nothing special about this country, by the way. I don't think any of these countries actually have unique mission trees. I think they're all the same. General East African missions. I could check. No, I'm not going to check. I'm not changing the thumbnail. I don't care enough. Anyway, uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But we could take something else. Heirs can choose a weaker version of the cult. I don't know what that means, but okay. I kind of don't want that. Flexible cults. Allows you to change your active cult every 20 years at the cost of 25 legitimacy. That's not worth very much. Uh, development of temples is based... That's okay, I guess. Mm, that's not great. 5% reform progress. Skills with influence, so giving them more influence would make it better. But yeah, that means at most it's 25, and that's like, not great. It's okay, I guess. Uh, don't care enough about that. We might be looking at build shrines for heirs, maybe that's okay. Just until we become a republic. And then it's useless once we're a republic. Yeah, sure. I don't know what that actually does. Oh, we don't have an heir. Okay, whatever. Um, maybe we could get a general. Officer rights. It would save us a few mil points. I, I guess that's fine for now. We'll have to get rid of that at some point. But yeah, we'll take that. Oh, pretty good. Okay, we, we, uh, we can work with that, for sure. You know how to do a poll on YouTube? Yeah, but I want to chat to spam it. It's funnier that way. You can get the Madagascar achievement with this nation? Yeah, yeah, so the entire point of the run is the Madagascar achievement. That's what the uh, penguins in the thumbnail were for. <laughs> Alright, unpause time. Let's be friends with you. You don't want to be friends with me anymore. Why are you so cringe? Um, do you think you could be, like, less cringe, actually? I think I would really enjoy that. Yeah, we have, we have nothing to do with that. We can't even invade them. No, uh, no marriages. We want to unite the island, which means betrayal. 
I'm hoping maybe we could have gotten this guy to be... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can get him friendly enough to be friends with us. Oh my god damn it. Okay, whatever. And then, once they're friendly enough with us, if they ally us, there's a chance we might be able to... um Might be able to get them to not help this guy. No, okay. If they ever get a ruler, which is... um, You know what I'm talking about. If they get a ruler that's cruel or whatever... Yeah, I guess not. Whatever. Are you gonna go colonial? I mean, I kind of have to, don't I? I don't just want to, like, play this run directly for the provinces, because I find that's gonna be pretty boring. I think what I want to do is... Probably play, like, an actual run. Like, play reasonably... Not just go for the achievement, but still obviously get the achievement at some point. Like, you could beeline for achievements and do them really quickly. I'm just, like, not a huge fan of that. It's probably why I don't have so many achievements, is because I don't like just gunning for achievements. I like playing actual runs. Like, full, complete runs. Well, you know, not that... not that full, obviously. <laughs> is that another Twitch follow? Bruh. Expansion Maritime over my dead body. Actually, um, is that even a good policy? Expansion Maritime? No one takes Maritime, so I don't know. Naval Force Limit. Okay, no, we're fine. Minuscule PP. Real. Okay, let's uh, raise maintenance. Might even hire a free company, depending on how bad this might get. Oh, you broke your alliance. You did exactly what I thought you would do. That does make it a little awkward. But not that bad. I think I can take both of these countries. I'm just going to need... Um, let's focus on mill, actually. Focus on mill. Free company. I think we can get that done. That means we get rid of this. We grab a spy network on... Mm, no, we don't need a spy network on you. Going to claim that. Yeah, we can get Spy Network, actually. We do this. We grab a free company. Do I even have any of this? No, okay. I think we can fight this. How is this the worst country when Hydra or Zebra Clans existed? I, it's... It's not that deep, man. It's not that deep. This country can spawn a Pirate Republic? Yeah, but if you tag swap, it ruins the achievement, so... That's the bad part about it. Okay, where are my... where are my ships? There we go. Bring you into there. Bring you into there. Actually... How many ships do you have? 12? I have 11. What kind of ships do you have? One additional transport. Hmm. Well, maybe we can just scare their navy. We're roughly equal in terms of fighting ability. Okay, from the burgers, we're going to start off by taking the loans, because I know we're going to need them for sure. Okay, hopefully we can just uh, meme on them a little bit. Yeah, Kobolder Jordan's fine. Okay, so the way we're going to fight this, I think, is defensively at first. Yeah, I'm really thinking defensively is how we're going to play this. So we're going to start by scorching this. Uh, we're going to do a little trolling, move that guy back a little bit, send this guy here. I'm trying to see if we can bait this guy into attacking. Something, something penguins, exactly. You went for my capital? That's... It's a much weirder decision, but like not not that weird, I guess. Are they both gonna go for the capital? Yeah, they are. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, it's fine actually. No defense guy, which kind of sucks. If I had a defense guy, I would take it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Maybe they're not going to the capital. When do you get there? 28th? When do we get there? Oh, June. God damn. 
and by a 13 day difference okay hold on a second let me let me really think about that for a minute let me really think about that for a minute i think we can move this over here why that nation to be the worst uh the worst in madagascar it's not that deep don't don't worry about it oh that's that's great yeah we needed that <laughs> that's cool thanks guys okay so the real question is like how much can I troll, really, is the real question. I need to bait them, like, a little bit. We need to figure out how much we can bait. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. 22nd of August. We wait. We wait. This is going to be top-tier clownery. Watch this. 22nd of August. Okay. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Okay, hold on. Maybe we send you here. You can go there. Please try to attack me. Please try to attack me. Please? If I begged. The chat actually choose this nation for you? Yes. I was going to play Imarina based on the ideas. Chat was like, no, we're going to play Betsy Misaraka. Oh, is this bait? Am I getting baited? 12th of October? Nope, we're not getting baited. They might not continue walking. <gasps> bait? Uh, bait? Hello? Uh, bait? When do you get there? 23rd? You get there on the 12th? That's probably enough time. Oh my god, did we... We rolled like garbage. Well, you can't do much about that. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. But hey, we uh, we get to hunt them down now. We're gonna clear out this army, then run back home and deal with that. Oh, no, 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 no. You think you're running away. Don't, don't do that. Don't you dare. Get back here. Oh, shoot. That could be a real problem. Ah, that could be a real problem. Uh-oh. Maybe I baited myself. Oh, maybe. I baited myself. I played myself, chat. Chat, look away. It's so bad. Uh, okay, plan B, which is... I don't have a plan B, actually. That was plan... That was plan B. Okay, hold on. How many people do they have? 5,000? No, they have more than that. Oh, the rest are walking with me, that's why. Uh, I did scorch this, though, so they shouldn't be able to follow me that quickly. When do you get there? 23rd of May. Dude, that's so long. Wait, that's that's actually great for us. Uh, yeah, we can we can we can stole. But yeah, we we got this. Nah, I'd win. How many of these can we take? We can take more. Nah, I'd win. Hold on, let me get um, Zanj Company. Yo, hold on, can I hire that? can't hire that then why offer it to me if I can't hire the company that's a six shock guy of course I want the six shock can't be hired okay then take it off the menu there are a lot of companies I can't hire okay uh is that where the Zanj company is yeah we can't hire it <laughs> well whatever damn I guess um yeah slap it down like right when do you get there yeah slap it down right there actually Maybe not. They might get run... Yeah, they might get scared and run away. Let's not do that. Let's... Here's the thing. I don't want them to get scared. I want them to lock in. If I hire a company, they're going to get scared for sure. Okay, so... Actually, that gives us a bit of time. They get there on the 23rd of May... So 
So we wait one month. We can get there both on the 16th, right? 16th. Oh, this is 16th of May. I think they're going to keep on walking if I start moving this guy, so that's fine. Um, Kind of want them to lock in. Oh, only a few of you. 23rd of May. Okay, that's fine. Okay, he's locked in. He's locked in. Up there. There we go. He's locked in. Actually, let me just uh, actually consolidate that. Can you get there? Yeah, you can go there. Okay, he's locked in, which means this should be, I don't know, wipe maybe? But yeah. Wow, I'm so good at that. You can only, you can almost say like, uh, I'm a master at, at that whole thing. Max Crownland, you might reform away from being a tribe in less than a century and then become pirate if you do nothing else. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of time that I'm not willing to spend. So the question is, do we do a siege race or do we just fight them? I think we can fight them. Jungle. Uh, they may or may not have a river crossing. I don't know where they came from. If they came from here, river crossing. If they came from here, it's not river crossing. I don't think. Oh no, it's a river crossing either way. Okay, so they're going to get river crossing and jungle. And we have a better general. I think we can fight this. But I think we'll have to wait like more than one month to recover. Right? Yeah, let's wait one more month. Actually, we can get there on the 8th of July. Some of them leave. Good job. Congrats on being less bad, I guess. 8th, 9th, 12th. That works. We do this. Then we do that, I guess. That should work. Here we go. We get more. Then a few more days. Wipe, please. Hell yeah. Let's go. You need colonial colonial ideas for your achievement. You're going to spend that time regardless. I know. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this nation isn't in Europe. <laughs> Least Eurocentric EU4 player. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, let's... Uh... Let's get these guys here. We can get two more guys here. You're going to stand there. You can come here. We're going to fight that. Madagascar Universalis, real. Oh shoot, uh, you're actually the good general. I wasn't supposed to use you on this, but... That's fine. One, two, two. We'll do the trick. Hmm, barely, but it'll work. Okay, uh, things you're about to get. A little, little complicated, maybe. You're not allied with each other, are you? Attacker, attacker. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to fully annex these guys because I cannot fight these two at the same time. Actually, I'm allied to both of you, aren't I? That's really funny. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna break this alliance because I'm going to invade them next. And then maybe this one? Yeah, I'll break that one too. Because now I don't want them. I just needed them allies so that they couldn't attack me while I was cleaning up these units, or these, uh, these two. So I'm gonna break that alliance too. That gives us a five-year truce that we can use to recover. Let's actually keep one of you here. Let's keep you. You have siege, actually. 
Yeah, curse doesn't even begin to describe this so far. But winning does. Okay, you can move up there. Cavalry's expensive, you can go there. Perfect. Go Colonial established the Central Park Zoo Colony. Good meme. Chat, where is Central Park? Is that in, uh... Is that in New York? Why is Madagascar named after a movie? Real. We all know what happens to Europe when a player plays outside of it. Okay, yeah, that's real. But hey, when you play inside Europe, you also mess up Europe, don't you? Let's not pretend like we're leaving it the way we found it. Easy W. Okay, maybe we can capture those ships. That would be nice. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe not. Hey, we're just looting stuff now. Big money. Love looting things. Okay, unfortunately... This just says company. <laughs> okay. Uh, free company. Company. It's just... Okay, Madagascar company. Yeah, you can actually go here for a quick second. I might end up getting rid of the free company. Mm, no, let's not get rid of the free company. I kind of want it. This guy does have like one siege. But I really can't afford him, can I? No, it's crazy expensive. We have to get rid of that. Even if the siege is nice, we just don't have the money. Who's Makua? More like Makua. Got him. Oh, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Looking at this guy die. Yeah, never mind. Uh, Antankara, where is that? I would like to dev the capital, but I don't think the game wants me to dev the capital. We can go with this, I guess. Dev that twice. Not great. Could be worse. Will you be good company to the company? Nah, I'm firing them. Kinda don't want any of these, but I guess I could take one. Actually, the real question is, uh, who are you at war with? You declared war on Imarina. You declared war on Imarina. What that means is I just need to annex Imarina. And then I could, if I wanted to, vassalize this guy. But it really depends on, on how much it costs. Like this guy. 159. One fifty. It's mostly because this is part of a state, so I don't have the points. Not quite. Yeah, we are down bad for points. You can almost say we're pointless. Do we have titans? No, unfortunately. Can't wait for the uh. Attack on Titan mod. There we go. Perfect. We can annex this guy. Uh, is there really a difference between annexing them, this menu? So that's 4, 20, 15, 12 and a half, 16. It's the exact same. Okay, we just get more money. 
doing it this way. So we can uh, we can definitely yoink that. Now these guys. Now I'm just confused. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess their war got transferred. I don't actually know what happened there. Whatever. I'm just gonna full annex these guys too then. Oh wow, we've united like most of the island. Isn't that cool? A rising lion. Okay, death has grown. We get morale of armies and manpower for the next 25 years. Sure, why not? I could have saved it, but I don't care that much. Okay, next two rivals, of course, are the other two on the island. We're gonna have to wait a couple of years, but I can fabricate claims in the meantime. Plus, you're allied to Kilwa, which is incredibly cringe. Yeah, that sucks. Now we sit to become pirate. Unfortunately, we can't because we have too many, uh, too many provinces. How big are my loans? I should have larger loans. Wait, one second. Let me pay off the one percent. I think I should have larger loans. Yeah, 32, 32 loans are much larger. How many do I have? 17. Okay, let's pay off the smaller loans. And then I'll go ahead and take out the, uh, the good loans again. Because these are, like, significantly larger. And then we go and pay off the, uh, the smaller loans. Quarbonomics, baby. Beautiful. can only have up to five. I think it's up to six. I think you need to have fewer than seven. Okay, we can also decrease some autonomy. Not a bad idea. And we speed five. <laughs> That's just how it is. Slave trade. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> You don't say. Look at the look at the trade goods on this island, bro. Do they sell anything other than people? Are you kidding me? Dude. You can release the blue guys and give them a province. If I release the blue guys, then I don't get these provinces either. Ban slave trade? Don't you have to wait for, like, enlightenment for that? Yeah, there's nothing we can do. And it, it genuinely, it sucks because it's, like, not even a good trade good. Like, every part of it is just kind of... I mean, the production leader bonus, I guess. 10% goods produced is not bad. But in terms of, like, like, it sucks as a trade good. Current price of 2 is, like, that's worse than grain, my guy. That's worse than fish. We could do literally anything else and it would cost, it would like give us more money. So like this just sucks for us. But hey, mercantilism, that's cool, I guess. I guess we can wait on that though, can't we? We're already the leading producer. That's really not going to happen to us, is it? I'll press it now, I don't even care. The timed bonuses, I like... I rarely use them. Because I know one day I'm just gonna like forget about them, so I might as well use them. We specialize in cheap labor. Okay, can we specialize in, uh... Making things, maybe? I think that would be cool. Oh yeah, let's turn this off too, we don't need that. Morale of armies plus manpower or discipline. I don't think discipline does anything right now. Let's go with morale. No, just labor. We have nothing to work on. I have like, I have no money. I really cannot hire an admin guy. How long are these truces for? Another three years? Okay. I'm just going to build up manpower, build up the army. 
because we're gonna have to fight Kilwa. And like, dude, I don't want to fight Kilwa, but we kind of have to just to grab these two provinces. So, actually, yeah, I mean, this guy is kind of by himself. That's not so bad. Yeah, chat, we're gonna make Madagascar the uh, most developed place on Earth. Mark my words. Okay, let's make the Merchant Guilds a little happy. I think we can fix that. Not a lot of money, but it's something, I guess. Some of the diet, uh, or the diet, as I've heard it called. Fewer loans than one? Uh, I guess it's the easiest one to do. Unless someone wants to be friends. Yeah, nobody wants to be friends with me. Okay, that's fine. We'll go with the bottom option then. And then we can uh, sell titles, seize land. Pronounce Diet. Bra moment. Make Madagascar Australasian again. I don't know anything about Madagascar, so all <laughs> all historical references are going to go straight over my head. Pirate Republic Libertasia can be formed as long as a European has a province in the Congo and India and you have 25% piracy in Zanzibar. There is no restriction for the amount of provinces. True, and when you tag switch to them, it uh, it uh, obliterates this achievement so you can't get it anymore. Used to be a Malayan colony? That's crazy. Yeah, but uh, my, my EU4 game, which clearly indicates the most uh, factual of history, um, it says it's uh, it's not, so uh, that's too bad. <laughs> How are they doing in Madagascar these days? Oh, hold on. I need, uh... I don't have enough for, for, for Big PP. Tragic. I would like more power projection, but that's not happening. Okay, we can get rid of that. That's fine. Let's improve relations with somebody. Maybe Kilwa. Vibin. Nice. Can we go one culture world conquest? No, stop that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please. I can't handle that. Oh, I need that, though. Half cost theologian? Thank you. I don't have money, but that's fine. Money's for, uh, for chumps. Money's not even real, actually. You can get PP if you private your enemy. Uh, like, not enough, though. Besides, we're gonna lose a lot of power projection anyway. Okay, when is this up? Two more years. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Yeah, we're gonna take Diplo. I love how that's basically two stab hit events in the first six years. That's lovely. Money's not real. Corbett Anarchist arc? Nah, if you think about it, I mean, like, we, we, we make the money, so, like, it's actually not real. All right, let me, let me take that. Okay, we'll declare war on this guy first and then end tomorrow. Really glad that these guys broke their alliance because uh, I definitely could not have fought 16,000. We did that one time, but I almost like bankrupted the country, so. <laughs> Who needs stab? Just truce break? Real. I think that wasn't there a guy in like the last not the last stream but the last run 
He was like, dude, just uh, truce break Egypt or something. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> I don't want to do that. All right, those guys are going to rise up in there and turn that into a state core as much as possible. Uh, when is this up? November. Okay, we have time. Hopefully these will rise up before then. Do I have any more range? Ah, Zembezi. Perfect. I mean, it's not... It's not great, but it's something. Uh, you can have the Admiral. It's cool. There we go. A touch more money. With trade capital to Good Hope. I mean, we're probably going to do that because I want to own the Cape. And then I want to, um, well, actually, here, here's sort of my loose plan, right? Uh, take Zanzibar, obviously. Big trade. I want the Cape of Good Hope. I want Zembezi, maybe, because there's a lot of gold in there. That's mainly why. Like, if you check the trade goods, it's like, ooh. Gold Central. Down over there. So I want that. Um, We want this, because this gives you access. It doesn't even... kind of shows you. Uh, but this line... Sorry, I think it's the bottom one. The bottom one, I think, is from... Malaya to the Cape of Good Hope, I think, maybe. Pretty sure. So we want the Good Hope, Cape of Good Hope, so that we can just, like, go directly to Malaya. Or Malacca, whichever node it's called. Um, instead of having to go, like, you know. Otherwise, we'd have to go to Gujarat, and then Coromandel, then Bengal, and then Malaya. Maybe you can give one clove province to Portugal and Zanzibar so they can do the decision. I think we can also do the decision, can't we? Can't anybody change the good of Zanzibar to cloves? Isn't it better to go east before Portugal colonizes the provinces? You mean, you, surely you mean west, right? Because Portugal's in the west. Surely you mean west, right? <laughs> African technology countries cannot? Damn. Well. It's not a huge deal. East, I thought you said weast. Go east for cloves since you cannot spawn cloves in Zanzibar yourself. I don't think the cloves necessarily are um are worth as much as securing the trade node. I think securing the trade node is worth more. When I say secure, it's more like uh we're gonna lose a lot of money to the Ivory Coast, but we don't have a lot of other great options, is what I mean. Damn, we're having a lot of people in this chat today. Maybe I should have played Madagascar earlier. I didn't know we had so many Madagascar fans. Hey chat, which Madagascar movie is your favorite? I think mine's the second. How many did they even make? Or am I thinking of a different, like, offshoot of Penguins of Madagascar? I made several of them, I know that. Yeah, there we go. Actually, no, I think I think third one's third one's my favorite. They made four movies and two TV shows. I did watch the TV shows, by the way. Okay, we're gonna decrease that autonomy as well. 
We want no autonomy. Autonomy is for chumps and cringe people and people with um, no desire to invade other countries. And that's why they're cringe. Okay, let's let's swap this over and build spy network. I really want to fight these before fighting what's his name? So yeah. I'm gonna do that first. Man, that takes an entire month to walk across that tile. That sucks. <laughs> These provinces suck to walk around. Okay. War. Uh, let's get you over here, actually. We're chilling. What did you expect? Their jungles? Uh, they won't be by the time we're done with them. Here we go. Do I really want the next Miltech? Probably not. Although feudalism is taking its sweet time. Is there somebody who might like me enough to sell me the institution? Because I would much prefer that over deving it with my, you know, nothing burger of a point uh, collection. They don't like me very much. That's fine. What is this? The Wrath of Enkai. Huh? They're going to sacrifice a portion of their cattle in an attempt to stop the drought and bring forth rain. Bro, it's not going to work. <laughs> let, me, let me stop you right there. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, man. <laughs> okay, um, we can either get the, the thing for... Ah, sorry, we might, we might risk Enkai's continued wrath. Nah, I will trust. All right. I guess so. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> Holy, that is so funny. Alright, we're good. Cool. Praise be to Enkai. It worked. Okay, anyway, uh, let's look for maybe some friend who might be willing to share their knowledge. You guys don't have feudalism, right? No, but you do. Please be friends with me. Many spirits, one god. No, we don't play those games. I think I need more people. Yeah. It's a lot of Sakhalov and separatists. Let's get just a few more people. Just enough to be able to fight the stack with this without the uh, help from the free company. We're gonna keep those. We need those loans. Dude is babbling buffoon. Holy, please die already. Have an heir and then die. Wait, he's not even married. Uh-oh. Of course no one wants to marry him. He's malevolent and a babbling buffoon. Are you kidding me? Dude is literally um, the worst of the dating market. Alright, let's annex you because I don't care about making you a vassal. I just want to yoink that land. Thank you. Bro got an actual incel ruler, literally. Imagine having him around till he's 80. No, please. Why would you even say such a thing? 
Yeah, he's a, he's a gamer. He's literally me for real. <laughs> okay, if we're really desperate, we could introduce a new heir. But I'm not that desperate yet. On tomorrow rival, perfect. And we don't have a truce, which means I could insult you, but it's only 10 power projection, so who even cares? Penguin's achievement run, yeah. What are going to be the first two ideas? That's a good question. You know, theoretically, we would say like... Exploration, expansion. Because like, we have to colonize a lot of stuff. As much as it pains me, because I don't really like taking those ideas, but... Yeah, we'll go with exploration first, I think, and then expansion. It makes us weaker, but that's fine, I guess. If you think about it, uh, Betsy Maraca is like basically Britain. <laughs> Just have a big old island and then do colonialism from that island. Sounds great. Dude, I really don't want to fight Kilwa. They're gonna Kilwa me. Okay, let's actually consolidate because we don't have that many people and then we can go back up there. We can do that. Why exploration? Just get expansion. I am blind. <laughs> Is Killwa fun to play? Yeah. Killwa's actually a decent country to play as. Unlike uh, some some countries, unlike some of them. Yeah, they don't like me. I want my provinces. They're pretty cringe for that, actually. If they declare war on me, I'll just take the tech, but I kind of want to sit here and wait. To ask somebody for the institution, maybe. That would be really nice. Actually, what would be a better place to have the capital? Moving it isn't even a terrible idea. Is having it in the jungles? This sucks. I think I would prefer to have it in like Savannah. It's only 15 costs instead of the 35 from jungles. Are there any grasslands on this continent, or on this island? We have hills, jungle, highlands, and savanna, so no. No farmlands, not even coastline. Alright, I mean, I guess we could move the capital into Manabe. Seems like a not terrible place, because you can also upgrade the natural harbor to level 3 eventually, plus it's savannah, which isn't as bad as jungle. Might move the capital here before deving any sort of institution. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea if I do pick up... If I do pick up someone to sponsor feudalism, moving it here might be a better idea, because we're already getting feudalism. It'll be faster. Plus, I think it's more provinces, right? One, two, three, four, five provinces compared to three in here. So it spreads to more provinces. We already get a bit of feudalism each month through adjacency. Do you have the dev cost privilege for jungles? Nah, dude, our, our mission tree sucks. So we don't get access to anything special, I don't think. Also, we're not in the right culture. Um, if we were, I think... I think if we were Chinese tech group or one of the cultures, it's it's tied to one of those things. Then we can get the jungle expansion privilege. Um, but uh, seeing as we're neither of those things, we, we don't get that. We get city expansion. It'd be. 
That's cool, right guys? This isn't that cool. Shout out to Paradox team from Madagascar rework. Yes, please rework. Thank you. Man, that, that kind of sucks. But losing a stability is not worth two inflation. But is it worth five inflation? Hmm. Good question. Option one. Minus one stability, minus two inflation. Option two, plus three inflation. The difference of five inflation and one stability between the top and bottom. So theoretically, yeah, it actually is worth it to take the top one. Man, okay, fine. I'm going to wait for that to expire. Also, it's crazy how bad our economy is. There's nothing here. What do we have? General ship? No, we're fine. Well, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Ooh, that's not bad. Mm, we can take back Crown Land in a hot minute. There we go. And then next time I'll uh, sell titles. Oh yeah, the game does want me to get rid of all my loans, but that's not happening, so. <sighs> I really don't want to fight Kilwa. Really don't want to fight Kilwa. How many ships do you have? I know you have 19, but how many transports? Six? That's not bad. If they can only land six men at a time, all I have to do is beat N tomorrow. Yeah, no, I think we're just going to wait and see if someone will sell me something. I think Mombasa. Yeah, I think we're looking at Mombasa. They might sell it to me. So we take that one. Do I wait long enough? Yeah, we can wait a bit, I think. Wait until that core is done just to be as disgustingly min maxi as possible and save two admin. <laughs> you should put Edict to Coastline. Not a bad idea, actually. Not a huge upgrade, but once we get the thing, it'll be faster. It's actually, I believe, less efficient. Ooh. <gasps> oh my god, we are winning. A 5 4 2. Holy chat, we are so back. Huge. Enormous. Alright, chat. Uh, the thing I used to do on, on Twitch was, like, telling people, hey, uh, you could change the name for, like, a few dollars, but I... I don't know. Up the chat. Not a huge fan of uh, strong aristocrats, but that's whatever. They're suffering when the 542 is satisfying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like the that just kinda kinda sucks, you know? Alright, see you later, Eugene. This needs to be Skipper. Tim Kowalski. Okay, the first person to send in a super chat, I don't care how much it is. First person to send one in with the name of one of the penguins gets to name him. Skipper, Kowalski, Private, and um... Oh my god, you're right, I don't remember his name. Rico. That's the one. Thank you. Kowalski for sure. Let's go. Thank you, Jamie, for the uh, for the two US dollars. I appreciate it. All right. Kowalski for sure. 
and hbrat thank you very much for the i don't actually know what that currency is but the 22 of those kowalski it is kowalski perfect okay now they're gonna follow i think we want manpower right manpower would be really nice yeah we'll go with that <laughs> one soda equals 30 i don't know what the try is is that no that wouldn't be that wouldn't be turkish lyric because that wouldn't have a wine at wait would it It is Turkish Lira's. Okay, never mind. I thought Turkish Lira would be like TKL or something, but maybe maybe I'm crazy. Whatever. And of course, uh, the super chat takes 25 bajillion years to uh, actually show up. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, you please be friends with me. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Royal marriage. Alliance, but defensive, maybe. I, I don't want you to call me in or anything. And then, if I could be so kind as to ask you, outside colonial range, I... I was going to say something like I was going to practice cliff diving with no parachute, but maybe that's a little, little intense. Um, <laughs> God damn it. That sucks. <laughs> How does this not work? Outside colonial range from any province? They're inside my colonial range. What? Wait, what? Wait, huh? Okay, they're in my colonial range. Their colonial range has to be at least mine because they have I don't have any buff to my colonial range. Nope. No buff to colonial range. Your capital's outside their colonial range? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You're probably right. Um, we're moving it to here then. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? This should be much closer. I moved it to this province because this province is good, right? It's Savannah, plus it has the natural harbor. Dude, what? Dude, what? Does specify from every province? from any province wait so like you're telling me that because i own this because i own this they can't huh huh i waited for the month tick is you're supposed to, you're doomed without closer land man this sucks what am i gonna do no cb one of these guys i can't do that your capital's distance from any of their provinces where is colonial distance zero it's never zero okay so this is 28 it is my capital I'm so confused. No CB Byzantium, real? Fight Kilwa, take their land? I don't want to fight Kilwa. This whole thing was to prevent me from having to fight Kilwa before I get the institution. Brother. Well, this, um... Kind of stinks. You can check their colonial range, right? 
I mean, it should be the same as mine. That's the thing. Like, their Diplotech is 4. Which means they already have 160 range. It can't be any less. Man, that sucks. I guess I do have to dev it. I tried so hard to not have to dev this. And yeah, so Fala's not going to give it to me because um, we're not allied and they're a vassal, so that's not going to happen. Man. Man. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, yeah, we'll have to, uh, we'll wait a little bit and then dev it. Still moved it to a better place to dev, but yeah. Dev up, wait for Killwood to declare on you? I don't think Killwood's gonna declare on me. I mean, maybe. Nah, probably not. Okay, whatever. We can at least try with Sofala. I doubt that, but maybe. Alright, guess we're gonna be, uh, deving this for a while. Problem is... I do need a lot of admin. I need stability. I need to be able to, um, increase that. I have somehow lost the ability to own a general. Cool. That's real nice. Although when we get feudalism, we increase that, right? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Never too late to go Pirate Republic? Okay, whatever. Isn't Sephala a vassal? Yeah, it is. Pull Conquest by 1460. Yep. Okay, so I don't care about the stability that much. First, I'm just going to wait for this to swap over. Which uh, should be right now. Yeah. Urge development. So we're gonna do some uh, some quick trolling, I guess. Dev it once. This needs money. So... Do I take that back? Yeah, I'm gonna take that back. Take some crown line back. Take out a loan. Increase this. Make it cheaper to dev. Then we dev. 15. Then we click that. Could be worse. Could be worse. Are we going to wait for the next four years for that? We want to end on a development that's either 16, 18, 20, or 22, I think. <sighs> 18 might not be bad go for 22 of course we could try to get a large city but I just don't want to spend too many points right now because we also need to take the tax okay we'll go for we'll go for 18 for now no we can go 20 20 but that's it yeah 20 but that's it Sixteen, eighteen, twenty are still good numbers. Twenty-two is a good number too, but yeah, we'll just go with that, I guess. Then, of course, we uh, take the institution, take the tech, so we can obviously crush this guy really easily, and then we can fight our own against Kilwa. I will Kilwa declare. Uh, someone said they have claims. Do they? No, they don't have claims. They won't declare on us until they have claims. Yeah, they don't even have a CB against us. We're fine. Kind of didn't expect those guys to rise up. Mm, give me a second. Uh, I'll just wait one month, actually. It's fine. Well, now they're going to take that anyway. Give us one more month. There we go.
Yeah, I know one mil point for each general. These generals are really good though, that's the problem. Like, I don't want to get rid of either of them. If we hold out for feudalism, then we can keep the general. So I'm not too worried about it. We might lose like, I don't know, 25-ish mil, but then we can embrace the institution and it's not that bad. Insult the green guy for your generals. Oh, is it above 25? Oh, that's what happened. I'm dumb. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I actually forgot that 25 power projection gives you, um, gives you a leader. I always think about 50. I always forget about 25. I almost always have above 25, which is why I never even thought about it. Oh, they might actually say yes. It depends. If we can get them to friendly opinion, then yeah, they can uh, they can say yes. I hope as a subject they're allowed to do that. I think so. Yeah, we're going to wait on that. Hopefully before you're dead, that would be great. Thank you. Any minute now. Come on, Sofala. Dude. Okay. All right. Um... Nothing really we can offer them except money. I don't want to give them money. They don't have any rivals because they're a subject. Money would be too expensive and I don't think they're going to be happy enough with that. It's not you, it's them. Literally. Yeah, Kilwa hates me. You're too far away still. Tragic. Well, we still have a decent amount of... Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. We're okay. Guarantee a country which is not independent? Uh, we don't even have the option for that. Diplo rep? I don't think Diplo rep's going to change their opinion. And their opinion is what has to change. That minus 20 is too much. The Diplo rep, I mean... Dude, if this guy wasn't a babbling buffoon, we actually could have gotten it. That's crazy. Nah, that's actually crazy. <laughs> Man, this, uh, this sucks. Okay, we just have to wait a few more months. We're fine. Beautiful. Feudalism. Okay, now it costs 122 to embrace, and the speed at which it spreads, I uh, give it a month, maybe it'll change? Nope, it's the same. Okay, that takes way too long to spread, and I frankly don't care. So, we're just going to embrace it. When can I do this? In a few years? Okay. Well, for now. Uh, yeah, let's just take some more loans out. Steep loans. There we go. Okay, and then we go to war, I guess. Actually, would they even help you? They would help you, okay. You have tech three, I have tech four. We're chilling. That is a little less chilling. They're gonna grab that anyway. Let's um let's try to not get a crossing penalty. Mm. 
Mm, let's wait a month. Yeah, I'd much rather take that than stub. Okay, we need like a second to repair here. Who can we rival? Kilwa, naturally. It's really the only other power in here. Hide the fleet. Where is my fleet? Mm, there it is, you're right. Kilwa starts with heavies. It's not even worth, like, looking at them. <laughs> Okay, let's declare war then. Cross your fingers I don't get killed, chat. Uh, was I gonna take land back? I was. I'm stupid. Don't worry about it. Unlock the Cult of Islam. Nice. Send that in there. We really just have to lock the island down. And I hate when AI just does this stupid thing. There we go. Okay, we go into here. We send one guy into there. Actually, yeah, no, we can do it that way, I guess. Does Killua start with a heavy? I swear they do. I swear Killua starts with a heavy. They don't start with a heavy? Never mind. Alright, then we can just loot this for a while. Easy money. While our economy is getting crushed. Because of all the corruption being rooted out too. Yeah, we have to root that out. It's, you know, it's whatever. Time for 10 loans and no manpower for two mid-provinces. Literally. Maybe I can do this. Maybe they won't attack me. That's cope. They'll definitely attack me. Eventually. Okay, once we're done looting this, I'm gonna send this guy north. I feel like Kilwa is going to try to land. AI tends to at least try a little bit these days. Don't go through there. Ooh, events. Okay, the Wrath of Enkai. I feel like we just did this. <laughs> um, let's try again. There we go. More production efficiency, but in a different place, maybe? I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it's over here. There we go. Excited to see the Great Pirate Republic. Who said we were going Pirate Republic? Chat gaslighting the other half of chat. The portion of chat that was here for the last stream gaslighting the rest of chat. You are? Okay, great. Gaslighting me too. That's perfect. I don't know if it's me, but it seems more fun struggling through a technologically inferior sieve. Dude, I started up a game as Zulu in Vic 3 the other day. Tell me about it. It's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> what is Brandenburg Part 2 dropping? I have so many, like, Part 2s, Part 3s, Part whatever uh, dropping in the next few weeks. I, I couldn't even tell you. Next week, I had to shift gears. To make an Imperator video for Saturday. So I still have to finish making that. So I think next next Saturday is going to be Imperator. Saturday after that is going to be the video that was going to be for this Saturday. And then Saturday after that is probably going to be Brandenburg Part 2. I'm sorry. It might take literally three weeks. I mean, didn't that video release like... Didn't that video release yesterday? <laughs> There's no way that's already sitting at enough likes, right? It's been out for like a day. This is risky. 
but I might be able to steal a ship. Nope, no stolen ships. It's at 2,000 likes. Shit. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess I do need to make that part two. Not enough hours in a day, chat. Was that 2k like 20 hours ago? Okay. Right. Right. I think we should take the Pirate's Way reform. Wait, can you become a Pirate Republic through just being a Republic? Is that even possible? Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do at this point... Decrease maintenance. We've already looted all the territory. We're just gonna sit here. It's gonna take a while, but these guys will eventually give up. And that's what we want. Eat less, sleep less, play more, Kappa. Uh, I have projects to do. Actually, what time is it? It's been an hour and 20 minutes into this stream. Okay, chat. We get... What time is it? 2.20? Okay, we get like two hours more. Let me speed five this, actually. Legitimately, we just have to sit here. We don't have the ships to contest Kilwar. Maybe if I built galleys, we would. But I'm so broke, I don't want to build galleys. I don't have money for anything. We are 100% broke. I can't even really afford this advisor. I don't know why I have this advisor. What even made you consider transforming your OC slash mascot into a VTuber? Um... It's a really long story. How much time you got, chat? <laughs> we have until the end of this war, I guess. 4.21 ducket economy, real. Yeah, I know the blockade hurts. We can't do anything about that. Blockade. Mockade. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, right. Um, basically... Uh, so, you know how, like, U4 has been around for a really long time as a game? Uh, you know how U4 will not always be around as uh, a game that is played by people? Um, and you know how I really like making videos and content and how I want to keep doing that even after U4 is no longer relevant? Um, yeah, it's, it's that, kinda. Mothball the fleet since you can't use it. Uh, not even a terrible idea. Unironically, not even a bad idea. That's gonna take so long. Yeah, you know what? Let's mothball the fort. You're real for that one. Just defund it. It's like the same thing. I never touch naval maintenance. How many loans you got? Like, I don't know, 10? <laughs> How many uh, layers of loans are you on, my guy? Like six or seven right now. Dude, there's no East African warrior. This is literally discrimination. Okay, we'll go with, um, it's more about the pips to be honest. Uh, we'll go with this. I think you want morale pips the most, I think, maybe? I don't know. Wait, do you guys know that meme that I referenced? How many layers of irony are you on? Planning for the future to diversify content in case that happens. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I'm 
and also I like VTubers. <laughs> I don't know if that part was was clear enough, but. What kind of games do you have in mind? Um, I don't know, other Paradox games and whatnot. I think it's nice to have a bit of continuity between um, being a faceless voice and playing other games, maybe. You have the spy network for what? Steal maps from Kilwa. I don't think I have the tech for that. To steal maps, you need a certain tech. Yeah, tech six. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe try millennia. That's true. Wait, when does the um when does the demo end? Is it already gone? Please don't say it's gone. I should have played millennia today. I'm so dumb. Let's see. Can you still play it? History is the result. Ah, I don't want sound. Okay, I can still play the demo. When does that demo end? Available until the 12th of February. That's tomorrow, chat. Oh, that sucks. Okay, maybe I'll play some tonight just to see if it's good. Going for the penguin achievement? Yes. And yeah, they never liked me, so that's unfortunate. I mean, we're at war, but... Hold on, need to drink something. Civ games are not my cup of tea, graphics are too goofy. <laughs> uh, that's real. It's so, it's so weird, because I used to be a big Civ guy, you know? And then I started playing EU4, and then I was no longer a Civ guy. I own Civ 6 with all of its DLC, and I think I played like two or three runs. It just doesn't hit the same anymore, chat. They're bringing troops? They might be bringing troops, maybe. I don't have the maintenance. I, I need to like, I need to wait until they bring troops to commit to raising maintenance. Like when I see the troops is when I'll raise maintenance. I can just scorch earth wherever they're landing and then raise maintenance. Oh, Pog. We just have to wait for this guy to give up. Shouldn't take too long. Poor Doc, it's not as bad as Temper Stige. How long does this take? Years? I think it does take years. Hey Corbin, what's better for a Roman Empire run, Sardinia, Piedmont, or Italy ideas? It's hard for me to give up that discipline seems important versus the Ottomans. Oh, um, don't Italy ideas have 25% core cost reduction chat? Pretty sure they do, right? I don't think I've ever actually played Sardinia, Piedmont. I think you should, like, you formed it, obviously. They have good missions. Like, finish the Sardinia, Piedmont missions, they're good. But I think Italian ideas are still better. Um, this is just off the top of my head. <laughs> Kowalski, can we get an analysis on this? And like 15% infantry combat ability? Nice. Italian ideas are better than Sardini Piedmont, but if you compare them to Saluzzo's... Yeah, Saluzzo's ideas are good. What is that? Like a built-in 20% aggressive expansion reduction? Sheesh.
You know what's a fun thing you can do? We, um... We waited for long enough, so these provinces regenerated their loot. <laughs> and we can steal it. I think we kind of have enough manpower, don't we? I've been stacking manpower. We get a bunch of recovery. Uh, I don't think we need more manpower. We definitely need more money. Twenty percent is massive. Oh, I don't know, chat. Let's let's compare manpower compared to everybody else. Let's just take a look. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> okay, so we have, like, more manpower than most other countries we can see. I don't think we need more manpower. One of manpower forever? That's true. But I have, like, no money. Oh, I'm so broke. No, I'm taking money. I'm so broke, it's insane. I should also probably change from a tribal monarchy. It's just not very good. Problem is, it costs points. Unironically, tribal despotism is better. Fire your advisor or dev something? We're not going to have bankruptcy. We're fine. We're losing like almost nothing a month. The real question is what we do next. Who are you allied with? Malindi and my my dude here. Because we might invade Kilwa next. Think about it like this, right? If I get the, the first idea, is it the first one? No. Second exploration idea. Colonist. Colonist goes here. Fabricate claims. We could fabricate claims here anyway, but we need a landing site. Just to like quickly send people over before we declare the war so that their ships don't interfere with us. We slap it down. So colony, men, rush. That's the idea. And that's going to be after this war. It's going to take a while. But yeah, we're kind of fine on money for the time being, especially since we can uh, loot this stuff. Expansion first, so you get more colonists. I can't even colonize more than one thing. I guess I could colonize this. Maybe. I want exploration so I can just snipe the province. You can't land troops in the uncolonized province. No, sorry. You said you can. I can for sure, yes. You're right. Maybe. Are you going naval meme build? Apparently my ideas are meant for naval meme build, so maybe. You can explore via the burger privilege that gives you an explorer? Oh, wait, real? Chad, is this real? <laughs> okay, I mean, that being said, that's not a bad idea. I apologize, I was not familiar with your game. Yes, but you can't explore America. Does it look like we're going to be exploring America? It's going to take some time for that. Dude, how long is this guy going to sit here for? Holy. Buddy. Just give up, man. <laughs> My god. Hey, dude. 
Uh, the war's been lost, by the way. I don't know if you if you knew that. Ooh, finally. Okay, we're gonna take that loot. There we go. It took ages for him to realize it. All right, we're chilling. Yoink. Beautiful. Okay, then we go ahead and decrease autonomy. Take some land back, and we are chilling. So, now what? Well, we need the Renaissance. Right? This is uh, plus 30% because we don't have the Renaissance. I kind of want to dev it in the capital. I think it's still going to be cheapest in the capital. Yeah, for sure. Let me see if I can repay one of these larger loans. Okay, I'm gonna dev with mainly uh, Diplo and Mill. Same as before. Now we have the poorest island in the world. Only for a little bit longer. We'll fix it. We'll make it look nice. Yeah, so we'll go with a little bit cheaper on, uh, on Diplo dev. One more. Nice. Right, uh, separatism? Kinda. Madagascar should have a formable, real, true. What's your favorite Madagascar movie? The third one, I think. Don't remember much of what happened, though. If I'm being honest. Okay, we'll just get claims just to mess with this guy. It's not like we can do anything else. One day, the invasion of Killwash will happen. Oh yeah, I should also put on um, the Force Unity of Faith. We'll convert these at some point. Also, don't I need one stability for uh, the thing? Ooh, ruler needs an admin of three. Okay, we're gonna wait until this guy's of age and then we're going to, um, we're gonna step down. Or if he dies, actually, that would be fine. Yeah, definitely taking the top option. Or, sorry, not the top option, the bottom option. Uh, we'll spend one, make that a second one. Encourage divination? Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Wandering shamans. Yeah, okay, there we go. Wait, you need tech eight for that? Damn, that's, uh, that sucks. Become Catholic? No. I will, I will remain playing the shitty religion for the roleplay. It's just really not that great. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's okay. Intolerance of Heathens is, isn't terrible. Diplo rap is all right. The picking whatever deity you get is okay, I guess. If anything, we got to become animist. Nah, <laughs> absolutely not. You drop your troops off in the uncolonized province next to Safala. We can. The problem with doing that is that there's a chance that the natives are going to rise up as soon as you step on the province. Worst issue with that is that we have three ships. Uh, we could build more, right? But I don't really want to spend money on building more. Since we don't have a ton of money. Humanist build? Maybe. Um, anyway. Yeah, so what I was thinking was... Having this here will allow me to quickly transfer troops from, like, say, here to here. 
instead of moving to here and then waiting like two months for them to, to, to leave the ship. So going like here to here and then back and forth really quickly. It's probably what we're going to need to do, I think. But first, we're devving up our capital so that we can uh, get stuff done. Also, yeah, I kind of want to uh, embargo you. Actually, no, I don't want to embargo them. If you embargo the AI, they will embargo you back and they have the most trade power. So we kind of don't want to do that. Also, we'll just take these guys and put them in here. That shouldn't be too expensive. Can you become a pirate? I don't think so. Not anymore. One of the Congo gods lets you stack like 7.5% discipline based. Yeah, I did take the air bonus. Although, uh, we are going Republic, so... The air bonus will not last for a very long time. Well, it lasts until we become a Republic. I just want to play a Republic because the ideas have Republican tradition and that's nice. Ooh, that's going to take a long time. What if we, what if we stack that? How bad is that? That's not nearly as bad. If this is 29 months and it takes longer, then this is not going to be so bad. Okay, hear me roar. We've taken the entire island. Nice. Gets uh, claims in several ports on the Aiden trade node. What? <laughs> Chad, is this real? Can I just go and invade Aiden? <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. I don't think we could, though. We don't have the manpower or ships, but boy, would it be funny. I don't think those are perma claims, so we're gonna wait on that. I think until we're stronger. Please rise up. I don't want to force them to rise up because then uh, I have to spend more money reinforcing. I'd rather they just fight me, please. Thank you. Okay, then we have Sakalavan, which of course are going to be in the capital, I think. Yeah. Speaking of the capital. One more dev click, then we can expand infrastructure again. How close are we? Oh, we're not even halfway yet. Yeah, this will be painful. <laughs> this is a uh, top tier Madagascar gameplay. When you do freest man in the world, you should do it as Cornwall or Rugen. I was thinking it would pair well with a with a man game. If you play as like the Isle of Man, there's also an achievement for that. I think it would pair pretty well. Start as an island, very few provinces. I think we could do that. All right, one more month. Uh, that's fine for now. Actually, let's reduce that for a quick second. Ah, no, okay, we need enough Diplo, I see. Yikes. I guess we're taking another loan. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to debase. One question, when you become a republic, do those slaves vote? Uh, probably not. I feel like there definitely should be more you can do to like 
change the type of goods being produced because this is almost comically bad like we're so poor and it's because we're selling slaves it's just it's two two ducats it's so bad look at them they're selling ivory they have four ducats for ivory look at that gems gold ivory and look at look at us we got grain fish and slaves this place sucks slaves become kind of good don't they get like 2.5 buckets or something rather than two good is um maybe relative maybe maybe slightly exaggerated okay that guy's dead tragic but we can make a bit of money Okay, we do a little bit of trolling by claiming uh, that province too. Okay, let's keep deving in one month. Okay, we click that, we click this, we click that, then we turn that off. Oh, we're so poor. I feel jilted. You know what you did. What does this mean, Rosset? Well, are you upset about the uh, not doing the random New World's coastal conquest with a... Sorry, what did you say it was? With Vinland or something? That would have been nice, but we literally can't afford to build those and we needed the uh, institution, so. Is Kowalski in charge yet? No, we have to wait three more years. Hey, chat, look. Money. Not a lot, <laughs> but it's money. Okay, hey, we're halfway there on the institution. Okay, that's going to be a problem. Oh, this might be bad. Uh oh. Never mind, all according to plan. I mean, uh, I never make mistakes. Wait, we have money? I know, right? The tiniest bit of money. A drop of income. Okay, let's also convert the uh, other province. Let's compare economies, chat. Oh my god, it's terrible. <laughs> hey, we make more money than the Timurids. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're having a fantastic time. Privateer your own trade node. You know what? Might as well shoot myself in the foot. Who even cares? From six dockets, we get... Yeah, that was not worth it. <laughs> Never mind. Put it back. Any autonomy to be decreasing? Nope. Cool. I think we're actually gaining autonomy each month. Yep. Well, that's a seat of strong aristocrats, everyone's favorite modifier. Why did I even take this? I had no chance of finishing this off. <laughs> Economic powerhouse. <laughs> After exploration ideas, we can sell renaissance for money that will make our economy. Yeah, I mean, if we take exploration, we'll have uh, enough colonial range to sell it to some countries, maybe. Like, Vijay probably has money. Hopefully. They don't even know I exist, actually. Let's establish some relations, maybe. Vijay and, like... Let's go with Azuron, maybe. 
They're probably close enough. When you go docket for docket with a real economy and they pull out the gold mine. Very nice. Now let's see. All Alan's economy. <laughs> All right, uh, we take that. That's cool. Good pay off another loan. Yeah, let's do that. Is that a Twitch follow? Okay. How much money is needed for all the loans? Uh, I try not to think about it that much. Yeah, don't worry about it. Actually, my 1% are kind of small. Hold on a second. Gotta do some Corbinomics. Uh, one more. Do that. We do... Um, actually, one second. Let me... Okay, that helps a little bit. Uh, where are my... Where are my loans? Did I pay off the wrong loan? Am I stupid? No. Well, yes, but... Okay. Larger loans, we take those. We go to the four percents. Smallest four percents. We pay those off. See, look at that. Now we have uh, seven loans, which is fewer, I think. And we can sell some titles, see some land back. There we go. No more 4% loans. Now our loans only cost us 0.2 in interest. Ebay's currency? Brother. Nah. Fewer loans is better because of the uh, reduction in inflation, but also because we're paying less in interest. We actually owe a little bit less, but that's because I uh, I did the thing. But yeah, it's less interest. And less inflation over time. If I could, I would swap my focus back to uh, admin now. Mm, you know what? Mm, we have a bit of money. Yeah, I'm taking the advisor. It'll help me finish this up quicker, which saves me money, and then I can also turn off this, which will also save me money. And also, we need more admin points. So we can grab the tech. Yeah, it's mostly admin that I need. Well, no, it's Diplo as well. It's both. It's not financial collapse. I'm fixing things. Look, we, we don't even pay that much in interest. It's like it's practically nothing. Uh, how much does the free company cost? It's like nothing, but still. No, I mean, it It actually costs less, I think, than uh, having a an army at no maintenance. These 4,000 men at maintenance cost less than 4,000 regular people at no maintenance. Because the free company is cracked. Me, when the free company is actually free, it does what it says on the tin. Okay, so would it be possible for me to rally some allies 
to fight Kilwa with. Like, would you, would you like me? I think we should be friends. I think that would be nice. What about you? You don't like me? Well, I don't... I don't really care, actually. Uh, I want to be friends with Mutaba. Yo, Midas touched? <gasps> Based. Time for Kowalski to come to power. Yep. 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 Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good stuff. Yep, religious sacrifices. Yep, we take that. Current cults. Uh, I think we still want Enkai. Manpower recovery. Institution spread 10% is like nothing. Yeah, Kowalski, analyze the economy. Fix it, please. Five, four, two. Holy admin, Batman. We can actually play the game now, maybe. Institutional spread plus 20%. That would be a lot cooler if I had the institution, but, you know, it's the thought that counts, I guess. How close are we? Ugh, it's taking a while. Hey, uh, hey, bro. Bro, uh, marry me? Oh, hell yeah. Together, we shall destroy Kilwa. We make this pact. The, uh, kill Kilwa pa pact. The kill Wa pact. If you would. Okay, so if we can, if we can get Mombasa... And Mutapa, on our side. We might have a decent number of people. I mean, these guys have terrible technology. Um, actually, hey, buddy, do you want some tech? <laughs> hey, man, you want some... I know you got gold. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, man, you want some technology so we can beat up Killwa together? That's a good idea. Three inflation, brother. You know what? Uh, throw it on the pile. Who cares? More. I'll take more inflation. Waiter, please. More inflation. Uh, you're my ally. Here, actually, I want to give you mill access. I want to offer them mill access as well. I think what I could do is land my people onto their land. And then if we bring them into the war, we can just start sweeping down the south. Just, you know, do the uh, regular exchange and whatnot. Okay, we're going to... Right, I turned off the favors because um, I didn't want you to call me into anything, but now we're going to be friends, okay? Let's be friends. I'll get them to max relations and then do the uh, the thing. Edict? Yeah, you're right. We can't uh, use that for very long. Okay, so we're going to gather allies to fight Kilwa. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. <laughs> Dude, I forget how long Madagascaran names are. <laughs> or Malagasy names. Look at this. <laughs> Dude. Okay, all right. Um, no, we, we can't hire the level two guy, so. Well, could we? No, that's too expensive. We'll take the admin. Put 
Look at that. Now we're gaining favors. Hell yeah. And we should be able to grab tech six before too long as well. I mean, as long as we grab the institution, embrace it. We could actually grab tech six. Estate mission? We can take a look. No. Mm, this is doable. This is really not doable. Army size is fine. We also lost our... No, we didn't lose our god tier general. Never mind. Although I think I would like a second one. So let's just go to here and ask him for one. Yikes. Really not that great. Why not curry favors? I'm getting them to max opinion. And then I'm going to curry favors. So I'm pretty sure currying favors also uh, is dependent on their opinion, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I made that assumption off of nothing. But 170 is fine. It is, yeah? Yeah, there we go. Plus 0 0.14 from opinion. So having high opinion is a good idea. I could repay some more loans. We are making, surprisingly, not terrible money because of knowledge sharing. That's because this guy has uh, gold, right? So he's paying us with gold pretty much. Twenty-eight ships, man. That uh, that money is no joke. Navy rival. 20 light ships, dude. Yeah, we do not have all that. Although we could. We have a fleet larger than 20 in 80% of the naval force limit. We could get morale of navies 10%. Need one more transport to transfer the free company? Real? True? Thank you for reminding me. Also, I think I want more lights. Yeah. Well, galleys don't have any heavies. I was hoping to use my lights to get more money, but... You're right, galleys are cheaper. They do fight better in these regions. At least for the time being. Okay, so they have the institution. Which means they should be more than capable of taking tech 4 at least. Tech five's a stretch, but tech 4, like, eh, you could get worse. That'll be good enough. Actually, yeah, I should proclaim a guarantee. It's easy to do. It increases their opinion. It's fine. we'll do this just for three months or two months why not roll a marriage uh because if i plan to attack them the worst thing that can get in the way is a royal marriage and i don't want that like i might want to attack them at some point so if i if i get a royal marriage then if i want to attack them i'll have to use a stability or wait but with it when it's just an alliance then i only have to wait five years even with the guarantee. Like, if I remove the guarantee, it's a one-sided five-year truce. But I can remove the guarantee and the alliance at the same time. So, we just have to wait five years instead of waiting for someone to die or whatever.
Okay, uh, how close are we and how many points do we get? So it's six renaissance per click. Right now we're sitting at 69, nice. Uh, it's about 70, which means we're really looking at 70% in reality. Um, so that's 30 divided by six, which is five. Five clicks, which I think we can do right now, almost. So we might as well turn it on. We're gonna wait another month. Do that. Did I do my math right on that? I think I did do my math right. I think so. Anyway, yeah, that should be one more click. Unfortunately, we can't use a, uh, a mill click. I think I'll use one admin click, just one. So I haven't so far, and I'm actually further ahead on admin than I am Diplo. Uh, and the first we're going to take is probably exploration, right? Which requires actually no chance at admin or uh, expansion. Yeah, maybe we could do that. Anyway, I will take one admin click, just because I don't want to wait for that Diplo. It's going to take too long. And this will finish it off. And then, of course, we can debase for money. Or I could build a church and debase for more money. Nah, we'll just debase for money. Okay, uh, yeah, literally most developed province in the world right now. <laughs> Huge. That gives us uh, more force limit, more production. Unfortunately, it's the worst trade good imaginable. But uh, it's some money, I guess, a little bit. Please don't go expansion for... Half of chat telling me go expansion first because then we can just use the, the estate privilege to explore. Other half of chat telling me don't because it's a new mistake. Uh, how about I... How about I go take a nap for three hours? How about that? Okay, it's 3 p.m. Well, we have a bit more time, I think, but... Let me check what that DM was on Discord. It wasn't even a DM. Never mind. Oh, right, it takes uh, two tabins to make that work. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh... Yeah, the temple could have been good before deving, but mm, too late. <laughs> Betsy missing a lot of morals, real. Okay, before we before we do like the whole debate between exploration and expansion and whatever, we're gonna fight this war, I think. It's gonna suck. But oh well. Actually, let me build some more galleys. This should be enough to get me the thing. The rise of Betsy Misaraka is inevitable. I need to build more people, right? Yeah, I need to build more people. More dudes, more guys for a fight. How many do you have? 14 and I have 11. Both tech 5. Yeah, I really shouldn't embrace the institution and then take tech 6, I think. Are you going to release Libertatia as a vassal? No. Not World Conquest pace, have to reset, real. Okay, so we have, um, literally the city of Wakanda here. With 39 development. Number one place to live on Earth. 
Uh, unless you're a slave, apparently. Gonna take the bottom option. We're gonna finish that one mission. At least he's not playing somewhere like Australia, real. Australia is such a slog to play through. Ah, I can... Well, I could sell titles, but I don't think I want to necessarily. I mean, money's nice, but that's like a really low crown lend. Nah. We ball. And also... Yeah, I'm gonna take that. This does not spread very quickly. We're going to embrace. We now have the Renaissance in 1474 as Betsy Misaraka. Incredible stuff. Now the question is, who could we possibly sell it to? Because we need money. Nobody. Because everyone's outside of the colonial range. Let's go, baby. <laughs> We're just going to have to sit on our forbidden knowledge forever, I guess. Okay, let's not raise that yet. We have the favors. I really want the tech. How long will that take? 1477. Screw the tech. We're going in. Who even cares about the tech? Give me my ships. We have Kilwa to be Kilwaing. It over here. Okay, let's go with this. Morale of navies. We need an admiral. I don't want to ask you for an admiral. No, I'm not going to do that. We'll just get one ourselves, even though <laughs> that's really not good. Too bad we're getting an admiral. Okay, so here's the way this is going to work. We're going to spend a little bit of extra money that I don't really want to be spending, but that's too bad. Oh, also, by the way. Yeah, just in case they had any funny ideas. So, I'm going to ask them for fleet maintenance, because it'll actually be faster. For fleet basing rights. So we don't have to wait uh, 25 months for them to disembark. Not literally 25, I'm exaggerating. Tried to make Madagascar naval hegemony once, it didn't go well. I just, yeah, I mean, Madagascar is, uh, you know, one of the countries of all time. One of the regions of all time. Huge. More admin. This cost me, I think, two dockets a month, by the way, fleet basing. Oh no, it's only half. Okay, never mind. Can I really deal with those rebels right now? Nah, not really. <laughs> They'll be fine. Come on, siege ability. Oh, they might actually take tech six before I do. Maybe this wasn't a great idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm stupid. I'm a little bit stupid. Give me one second. We can leave a few guys behind. 
Yeah, we'll take that, I guess. It'll be... All right, chat. It's down to the wire. We have to decide, is it going to be exploration or expansion? I've heard arguments from both sides. Expansion people are saying you just need to get the colonists, then you can start colonizing, and we uh, can already explore using the privilege. Also, if you go expansion first, you won't have the range for the Indian Ocean islands. Thus, Portugal, Spain will get them. I think if we colonize the Cape and prevent the Europeans from going across, then we can delay them, for sure. I think what we really want is to block off the Europeans by colonizing the Cape of Good Hope first. Block off all of their ability to colonize. This, 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 the entire coast, all of it. We take the whole thing, plus all the islands. We island hop our way across, blocking European expansion the whole time. If you do expansion first, can you even discover the cape? We will be able to once we take this, at least. Um, but yeah, we should be. We should be able to. I mean, even just colonizing this should allow us to do that. Plus, once we take uh, Diplotech 7, not 6, 7, we'll have more range. We should be able to. I don't think there'll be a, a big deal with that. Although this, for some reason, is not colonizable while this is. Which is kind of odd. It didn't really work when I tried it, but you can try. Well, that doesn't inspire confidence. You can no CB Maldives for range into Spice Islands. If you know CB Maldives, you get them as a vassal, but I don't think a vassal expands your... Does it expand your range? Maybe it does. Maybe. Europeans are way too fast for the strategy. Man. Man. We definitely need, like, raw colonizing strength, which is what expansion is good at. Portugal's already been colonizing for 30 years. Yeah, unless they're dead. It's been known to happen. Oof, rip. Okay, if we regret our choices, then um, you get to say I told you so, but we're going to go expansion. First, though, we have to deal with these Separatists. At first I was like, ah, just a few thousand, but yeah, no, we, we do need to deal with that. That can stay there, actually, that's fine. Just really, really quickly. It could take several months for them to fire, though, which kind of sucks. And they have Rebels? Not bad. Stop taking Admin Tech? I think we're gonna get corruption if we stop taking admin tech, but I'm definitely going to rush the first like three, for sure. It depends on how much we can see to get the, uh, the, the second colonist. Yeah, there we go. I knew they were going to be a problem too quickly for us. We should be able to win if we get better rolls. If we get better rolls, there we go. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, oh, reinforced speed is actually pog for us. <laughs> Glad I'm not fighting that. Okay, we're losing a lot of money. I don't like losing money. Okay, so the reason I don't think this guy's going to take tech 6 too quickly is because he only has 2 in mill skill. 
It's on tech six for admin, but he has five admin, so that makes sense. Let's actually, um, let's put you here instead of at the bottom. That should be faster. And then these guys can actually go up north. Yeah, I'm focused, Admin, right now. Okay, we go and dock the ports. Okay, nice. And then we're going to remove fleet basing rights while we move this guy out. Because that's expensive. And we have multiple claims to use against them. We can call in both of our allies. I think we got this. I think we got this, chat. Now, the main problem is whether or not my allies are going to want to yoink some of the stuff that I want, which they definitely will. Big problem, since Safal is a gold mine, and I do want that. But if all else fails, you know, I just take everything that they don't take, and then uh, I border them, break the alliance, declare war. And then we can clean up the rest of Kilwa. What I'm really looking forward to start with, I think, is Kilwa itself for gold and the trade. Zanzibar, and if I can, although I'm coping a little bit, Sofala and Quilamane. Those are the provinces I want. So, we'll see. Is there a vassal you can release from Kilwa? Yeah, I mean, we can release Sofala. Take the southernmost province, give the rest to a vassal. Oh, well, that kind of defeats the point. Uh, there's Makua. This guy. Although Quellamane Estuary means I kind of want it. Uh, but yeah, if I ever take these provinces, I could give some of them, some of these to my subject. Just so I don't have to core them. That would be nice. Anyway, war. It shall suffer for allying that one guy that one time, which was mildly annoying. Actually, before I use, uh, before I go with the war here, let's, let me use the washroom real quick. Just like real quick, you know. And we're back. Okay, so... Yeah, huge gambit. Huge gamble. Big gamba. We love gamba. Uh, we take expansionist zealotry because it is, for some reason, no influence. Has that always been no influence? 
Okay, whatever. Expansion is zealotry. We take that. Because we kind of need that. Alright. War. We fight. How many ships do you have here? 13 lights. We have 11 lights. 5 galleys. They have no admiral. Melindy also has ships here. I actually don't want to fight all of those ships at once. Okay, now we're just fighting the one Kilwa ship. That's better. What ideas did Kilwa take? Espionage. Wacky stuff. I think someone said, um, occupy the south, then call in Mutapa. But I think if we're able to occupy the south, I don't even think we have to call in Mutapa. <laughs> to be honest. If we're even capable of making our way down here, then... Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, we will start in by just calling in Mombasa, because maybe we can work with that. And... What do I want? We'll go with Mozambique. Sure. We'll start with this. I'm gonna go up north and crush these troops, and then go down south. You don't have tech 6, you have tech 5, you have tech 5. Okay, dude, if I grab tech 6, it's going to be insane. The levels of stomping. Okay, Navy's looking good. I dare say it's looking pog champ. This might not be a very good fight. Actually, if you want to help me. Yeah, let's turn that off. If you want to help me. We have a five maneuver guy, which means we won't get this crossing penalty. Yeah, we will not get the crossing penalty. So if he wants to help me, that would be really useful. Uh, actually, yeah, we should go over there and help them. Um... When do you get there? 2nd of February? Okay, now we get there on the 5th and 6th. This guy's gonna leave. We'll attack the uh, 8k. Or not, because they're too fast for me. I'm slow as hell. <laughs> Are we your little pog champs, Mr. Funny Anime Streamer? Fine, I guess you can be my little pog champs. That hurt physically to say. I think I got a, a brain aneurysm from saying that, actually. Okay, so no no crossing penalty. We have better generals. Well, kinda. I really would like it if he would have helped a little sooner. Maybe he will still. Come on, man. It's not like they're going anywhere. No, 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 come on. Yeah, 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 you're helping, you're helping. Okay, tech 5, tech 5. Chillin', vibing even. Good first roll. Guys, I think we're doing it. Good second roll? Unheard of. No. There we go. That's that's the expected roll. Come on, buddy. Want to help? You should really help, man. <laughs> I'm thinking you should help me out a little bit, buddy. <laughs> You're a little too late, man. Okay, here's how we're going to do stuff. Um. Right, okay. You go there. We drop off one guy there. You go here and here. And yeah, that should work. Oh, they're moving north. I don't like it. really want to get pate out whatever you pronounce that as pate i don't know Ugh, that's not happening guys i think we have to call in the guy in the south i think we have to We 
recommend start from the south? I didn't think we had the naval superiority for that, but apparently we do. So you might not even be wrong about that. Uh, yeah, that's that's a problem. Problem called 14,000 men. Uh oh. 14,000 men, which we do not have to fight with. Maybe they'll get stuck on the fort? Alt F4 restart? No, 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 no. We're, we're chilling. First, let me examine how much we can take. Ooh. That's a lot. We could take a lot. Unfortunately, chat, I think we have to call in Mutaba. I don't think we can get Sofala out of this. We need them to serve as a distraction. Or to serve as anything, really. Distraction, whatever you want, man. Just, you know, work your magic, make things happen. If you're wondering, I'm not going to follow them up there because I'd basically just be fighting natives the whole time and that's like not great for us. Actually, in fact, I think they're moving into here, which means they'll have to fight natives probably, which is good for us. Oh, I am I'm betting way too much on this fort stopping them. Chat, I don't think the fort's gonna stop them. Kill what him, exactly. Are you blockading those forts? I'm not, my subject, or sorry, my ally is blockading those forts. I'm going down here crushing their navy. To secure dominance. I am wondering if maybe what we should do is just like, evacuate. Like, we, we send guys from here, we just send them straight down to the south. I think evacuation might be our best strategy, actually. Okay, I'm gonna blockade those guys here. Some of these guys... Eh, maybe maybe we do a little... A little something where we, we split the, the navy in two. We send half the navy... North. Other half... South with this guy. We try to evacuate, I guess, because I don't think we can stand here. I'm pretty sure they're just going to walk past this fort. Yeah. Okay. We're going to send one guy. How many people do I have? How many ships do I have? Four, okay. Okay, let me, let me think. I'm really, really thinking right now. I'm cooking. My brain is overcooking. Okay, so here's here's the idea. <gasps> Never mind. Holy, you know what? Mutapa, honorary pog champ. I really just... Oh, he'll white peace. That is huge. He'll even break his alliance. Okay, we don't need you to break your alliance. Uh, war reps and money. Unironically, yes. Before we do that, though, we don't want to make a mistake. Um, 
Yeah, we're going to try to not make a mistake. That looks like moving up into here. Moving up into here. That shouldn't be a mistake, I think. I think. The reason we do that is because they might get black flagged if we do this. So we're just going to move them down a bit. Peace out with Melindy. Take 1.6 stock at Celia. Um, this guy will probably get black flagged. There we go. And I don't think you can actually save a black flagged um, army by moving it into ally territory. I don't think, but uh, this will be proof whether it does or doesn't work. Does it work? Moving into allied territory. No, it doesn't. Exactly. That's exactly why I moved the troops over first, because this guy's still black flagged. What you have to do in that case, um... So you gotta, you gotta put him like... This is really stupid, but... You send in the dude. Right? Put him on the ship. Put him out. Sorry, I think you have to put him out to sea, actually, and then put him back or something. Occupy territory works? Okay, fantastic. Thank you for the advice. So I think that'll be faster. As long as he doesn't turn around. <laughs> Please don't turn around. How many troops does Pate have left? 4,000. And I'm about to take tech 6. We can siege this. Please don't turn around. Okay, we're chilling. These guys are going to retreat. They're going to siege these back. They're either going to start sieging or move north. If they start sieging down my ally, we sweep south. Take these provinces? Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. No, we're at force limit. We're chilling. Okay, it doesn't look like it's being sieged, but it is. Don't worry. It's because the black flag graphic takes uh, precedence. So we just gotta wait for that siege to finish. I should definitely... Old Spy Network. We don't need that one anymore. Okay, Pog. Uh, why? Oh, because you're the one who got there first. This sucks, man. How about you, um, actually don't attach to me anymore? Oh, there we go. Now it's fixed. Kinda sucks that he decided to take this from me. It could be worse though. Ah, uh, he might be going after Killua. That might still end up being worse. I kinda hate how sometimes the AI is just so presumptuous thinking like, Oh, surely he's gonna give me stuff, right? No, shut up. I'm not giving you stuff. Stop occupying my land. Yo, is this the second time we've gotten this event? Huge. Okay, we can't see them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no, chat. <laughs> uh, that's tech six. We are not tech six. Wait, am I stupid? Oh, we're like the same map color. <laughs> this game's gonna break me one day. Okay, anyway. Mill advisor? Dude, I am so broke. I'm the brokest man alive. But yeah. Yeah, we are gonna take one. I won't be broke after this war.
I'm too afraid to take this guy off of the siege. Ooh, I don't know where they are, chat. I don't like it when I don't know where they are. Yeah, I give it like four months until they pop out of the shadows. Because they aren't resieging this. They would have gotten there already if they were resieging that, which means that's not their target. Yeah, that's kind of not Pong Champ. Uh, I think we're going to have to retreat off the fort. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to retreat because he, he's coming up north. He's definitely coming up north. That's really bad because my subject is oblivious. He's, he's or not my subject, my ally. He's just he's so clueless. He has no idea. His brain is not functioning. Not a single brain cell in there. Siege of Paint's done, though. That's pretty pog. Am I going to take that? Yeah, I'm going to take that. Not yet, but I will take that. Ooh. Huh? Maybe not. Never mind. And I don't even know what's going on anymore, to be honest. That means I just gave up this to, to my dude, my friend. Which is a lot worse. <laughs> uh oh. No, he's still coming north. Hold on. Let, let me let me not do the AI's work for them. If he's going to get wiped, I actually don't even mind that much. We're only fighting Kilwa. You know what? Just let him get wiped. I'm not going to help him. Yeah, here comes Kilwa. Why did the music just stop? What? Wait, aren't there uh, multiple music packs? Community ones or the new ones or whatever? Oh yeah, guns, drums, and steel three. This is fire. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not helping him. I'm gonna let him get wiped. Forced paints to convert you to a body? Nah. I think I have too much war score for that. Dude, what is he cooking? Whatever. Actually, I'm gonna go one step further and not even help with the uh with this. Sorry, man. <laughs> I really need him to get stack wiped. Like, I'm I'm really not going to help him. If he takes the fort before he gets wiped, I'm going to be pretty upset. Please don't. Oh. Okay, top option. We always take top option. This is looking pretty dicey for us as well. Nice. I mean, that was not good, I think. Okay. Okay, we're not gonna help him. Let him die. Let him die. It's fine. We're cool. We have to wait a year for the next thing. Uh-oh. Okay. We're chilling. We're chilling. Let him fight. Let him die. Not my problem. Don't even think about it. We just have to wait a few months. Okay? Let him, let him die. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're gonna hide behind the fort. We're gonna be fine. Just need tech six. Ah, oh, he's gonna unsiege stuff. Island trap Kilwa. Uh, based. 
Not a bad idea. I don't think my allies are going to be cooperative, though. What if I let them use their fleet for a second? Playing mind games with the AI. Let them think that they're strong enough. Ah, now they're leaving. Okay, never mind. I was gonna see if maybe I could island trap them. A few more months. Is that a few more months? We need, what is that? Uh, 45 power and we make six per month. That's a lot of months, actually. Can't island trap if they control the other half of the crossing? Yeah, well. I don't think we were really going to manage that anyway. Uh, okay, their navy retreated, I see. We want to have a little bit of vision. So I'm actually going to leave one bark right here. And another bark right there. Their entire navy is in these two tiles. So we're going to split it in half. Send one half here. We just want to be able to see them, right? We'll know if they're coming, if they come from this province or from like anything over here. They're very rarely gonna walk through these provinces, but my ally did, so maybe, I don't know. But this means if they're on any of the coastal provinces, we'll see them. Yeah, we really don't need that right now. There they are. This is perfect. Actually ideal. They siege this back. That gives me the opportunity to siege it. We might be able to do a little bit of finessing. Uh, depends. This guy does want Lindy, so he might get there first, which would suck. It's all down to tag priority. I think they will get here first. No, we're the sieger. Okay, that's good. We are the, uh, the siege leader. Out of curiosity, if I send another guy out this direction... Ah, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't split off armies when you do that. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, we're... <laughs> Let me just, uh... <laughs> I forgot, you can't make another army while you're doing that. While you're sieging something. Is that, uh... Yeah kind of breaks it. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, chat, look, bird. <clears throat> uh, don't worry about that. That was just a minor, minor little, uh, little mishap. Just a little, little thing. You know what happens. Okay, one second. I need to tab out, press the thing, tab back in. 
there we go okay let's uh let's continue that how about how about we do that <laughs> there's a missing foot tiny tiny missing foot okay they're coming back which is not good <laughs> there's a little missing foot One more month, two more months actually. Uh oh. Uh oh. We should back off. We should definitely uh scorch him back off, actually. Yeah, we're gonna scorch that. Cause I think that scorch is going to give us that month that we need. Critically need that month. Really badly. <laughs> like like the the difference between scorching this and not scorching it is ooh maybe not quite but extremely close to being the difference between yeah no it's literally going to be the difference between taking tech 6 and not <laughs> see look now we can get we can take tech 6 cuz we scorched it oh that's beautiful that's beautiful. We spent five points and it managed to save us. Now, do we even take the calf change? I have only one cavalry. Who even cares? Might as well change it. I'll take the, um, Somali. Yeah, all planned right from the start, of course. Okay, now we have equal tech. Oh, God. That's going to be a fun problem to deal with when we get home. All right, we need to take this. Look at that. We took tech six. They back off immediately because they are um, dumb. Actually, no, it's a smart idea. But I like insulting the AI, so. Okay, let's move these ships north. Uh, it's not going to be a good fight until these guys uh oh not a fight we should be taking either of these actually can I ask you to leave ah shoot I should have done that before the battle these are not good fights oh that's a good fight never mind I mean uh totally according to plan perfect fight okay we're gonna annex you yoink thank you When do we get there? On the 28th? 3rd of June. We can last that long. <laughs> we could not last that long. Uh, we're fine. Yeah, we're, 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 we're fine. We did lose a few ships. But we're fine. Actually, I'm going to rush for Sofala. Mm, let's bring you two up into here. We rush Sofala and Quelamane. Okay. We're kind of, kind of vibing a little bit. Actually... I'm gonna take out like two loans now. <laughs> if the uh, if the rebels if the rebels go a little too crazy with it, then they're gonna reduce the number of loans I can take, which unironically might make us go bankrupt. So, you know, maybe taking out loans right now is a better idea. Actually, I I kind of have an idea. Do you wanna wait? You don't want that stuff, do you? No. Could you siege that for me? That would be really nice. No? Okay, well, screw you too, I guess. I just want that so I can pop the fleet back out and keep attacking it. Oh, hey, province. We'll go with manpower. Okay, we've taken that. Perfect. We go into here. I'm going to make sure I occupy everything first before wiping their stack. 
All things considered, not a bad war. Pretty decent. Like, the outcome is going to be pretty good. I think we'll be able to take the entire Kilwin uh, coastline. Yeah. This is a really good outcome. Plus a little bit of money. Oof. That's going to be spicy. Mm, stability for sure. I'm not going to bump it. I'll just take it. Okay, I think we'll win this naval battle. Okay, if we didn't have help, that would have been bad. There we go. Three captured ships. Not terrible as far as ships go. Yeah, so we, we traded the numbers around a little bit. We have fewer lights, but we have more transports and I think one more galley or something. But yeah, that's actually 100%. Maybe Mutaba taps out before the war ends. It doesn't matter if they do. We're, we're, we're done, right? Um, hold on. Something changed. Something changed, but I don't know what changed. Because we couldn't have taken another province before, but now we can. All of the territory is going to me. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe I'll um, take this province, release Makua. And then in the next war, just reconquer that, maybe. Occupying war goal, it gets a 5% discount when you do? Wait, really? Oh. Wait, seriously? This is modified by 20% for the cost of taking a province. Why? Don't know. Don't care. We're looking good. 100% peace deal like this is insane for us to take. Hmm. All right. Uh, Pog. We take that. Wait, look at Mozambique war score in the peace deal. Maybe it used to be increased and now it's not increased. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're chilling. Can you sell Crownland? No, we only have 8%. <laughs> I was fighting the whole war on low crown land. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take this and release a vassal, I think. Give him this province at some point. Uh, otherwise, we could just core everything, right? It's not that bad. Yeah, we'll take it. Huge peace deal. That's massive. Maybe they exploited? Uh, maybe last second. Anyway, let's release Makua. And then we'll just declare war to uh, reconquer the core next. As for ourselves, we'll just take uh, the whole thing. Core all of it. <laughs> He's breached Madagascar containment. Real. Yeah, we are in a uh, in an official capacity. Fallen. Now that does mean I'm going to have to break this guy's... Alliance. No lowering exhaustion first. People always suggest that, but you end up saving like 17 admin for 75 diplo. It's usually not worth much. How much is that being increased by? Yeah, that's that's not very much. We can even do the uh, the cost if you guys really want to, right? If I spent 150 Diplo, I could save um, about 13% off of this, which is maybe like 30-something admin. 
so not a great point conversion. All right, chat, it's been three hours. About an hour before I have to have like a project group meeting. I haven't really eaten all day. It's been streaming. I ate like a little bit in the morning. Man, I'm getting hungry. Kill one no longer considered a rival. Yeah, I, I feel like we really should have gotten a lot more power projection from that. It's kind of weird that we didn't, but uh, whatever. Eclipsed, that's cool. We get to rival Ethiopia and we get to insult them and call them the stinky. Uh, and then we get to fix our problems back home. Unlock the Colt's Malira. Okay. Alright, uh, we can extend the loans because we're still broke. We'll pay off the 4% first. Royal marriage? Nah, bro. Want to be a vassal, though? No? Okay, then, uh, pff, perish. You think I care now? You thought you thought we were going to be friends? That's funny. Yeah, ask the uh, ask the other tags on Madagascar what happens to friends. Oh, hello there. Oh my. God, chat, we are having such a good run. <laughs> Maybe I don't even want to go Republic. All right, same thing as last time, chat. First, first super chat that comes in with the name of one of the penguins from Penguins of Madagascar uh, gets to name the heir. First, meaning it doesn't matter what, what amount super chat. Oh, hey, it's Saf. How's it going? How was your, uh, your stream today? Hello, everybody. Hello, all the raiders. Porcelain raid, real. Calling it now, the air is gonna get himself killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa re relax. <laughs> relax, man. <laughs> Let's not curse anything. Thank you, Quinn, for the 279 Canadian. We're gonna name the air Skipper. Hello, apparently you're suffering. True, real. We just finished a great war, though. Like, fantastic. Look at this. Look at that. Annex almost all of Kilwa. We are chilling now. I mean, just don't don't worry about the rebels. We're chilling, I can assure you. There is no war in Betsy Misaraka. Why are you playing here? Uh there's an achievement. And chat wanted me to play this country. So, uh blame them. They've been trying to gaslight me into thinking that I uh, voluntarily pick this nation. Don't listen to them. They're wrong. Oh yeah, the uh, super delayed super chats. Yeah, Rawson has been asking every stream for uh, for playing Vinland in a random new world. Which is probably not happening. Do you have a couple of rebel problems? Eh, we'll be fine. We have dudes and manpower and stuff. You did voluntarily choose this nation because you let chat pick? Alright, you know what that means then? No more democracy. Chat democracy privileges revoked.
Man, I really want to sell knowledge to people, but everyone's broke or they're too stupid. Like, literally, they don't even have the previous institution. Yeah, I'm not going to give it to people, actually. This is my renaissance. I get to decide where it goes. I thought you'd like republics. I mean, yeah, we're going to play. We're going to play republic in the game. But republics don't have to have democracy. Okay, you're allied to two other people who are kind of strong. You're allied to Azura, and I might fight you. No, I really want to fight Mutapa, actually. Royal ties, yikes. How old are you? 19? Double yikes. Why did I royal marry you? I created the exact problem that I wanted to avoid. Is he, uh, is he a stupid jet? All right, we deal with it. Grab you, grab two of you. Nah, one of you. Famous last words will be fine. No, 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 no. Don't even worry about it. And royal marriage for quick alliance, I suppose. Ah, you're right. He didn't want the alliance without the marriage. You're correct. You're right. But also, I'm right. Because now we have a problem. Okay, once this is done, we have to quickly go back over to the mainland. Ah, yeah, I guess we just lost a little bit of power projection. We already insulted Ethiopia. Uh, the next best thing we could do is like... I mean, we could embargo. I guess. Embargo? Okay. Hell yeah. Okay, we can sell some titles, maybe? How long will it be before I can expand again? Kind of a while. Not a super long time, but kind of a while. Like, I have to wait for this truce to be done. Then I invade this guy. I have to kick Azuran out. That's not that bad. Um. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, okay, we're chilling. Sorry, I had to uh, tab out a little. Okay, we're chilling. Right. That's good. And... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to sell titles. Crown land is uh, for jumps. We don't need crown land. We need money. Okay, next rumbles Antimorian. Wait, really? Before Kilowin? That's a pain. Okay, that's one state. gonna take a while but maybe we could do that do i even have no i don't have the thing i need uh here we go turn that on turn this on i can convert that when are you gonna core the west side you're gonna make enough money yeah 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 exactly what formables can you form again none of them we got no formables as madagascar tragically yeah we're saying fetishist just to meme a little bit. Tiny, tiny touch of memeing. Chat is right, uh, except we can't even privateer the Gulf of Aden, so never mind. It's really funny that kill has been reduced to one three dev province, but they're maintaining 14,000 men. <laughs> Oh, 
How's that going for you, bud? <laughs> it's really just my subject who wants it, but it's going to take him so long to actually get the institution. I don't think it's worth it. I think I would rather uh, keep on taking my chances. I mean, first I want the colonist for sure. Ooh, dude, this guy is so cracked. This is so good. The scholar, the Midas touched, the points. This is so great. We're having a fantastic time. Fire the mill advisor? Nah, I don't think I will. Okay, hey, we're gonna half state those. We're not gonna full state them because I want the colonist first. Because then I can get the privilege and I can start exploring. So, yeah. Hmm, I will take that though. Okay, we have rebels. Those are gonna rise up in Kilwa for sure, right? 10 dev. Is anything higher than 10 dev? No. Half state. See, there we go. Positive income, even with the dude. We take the colonist. We swap over to repression, like I always do. And then we take... Uh, where's the thing, chat? Is this it? Gain explorer with 40 tradition? That seems like it's it. Then we take that. Need three of my guys here. Why are you all... Why are you lowercase? <laughs> okay, whatever. Butuwa's opinion. Oh, I was thinking Makua. Oops. Oh, we can still improve Butuwa's uh, opinion. That's fine. We'll get rid of that, actually. Build a claim in there, I guess. Explore in Western Indian Ocean. I have privateer range now. I shouldn't. Well, maybe. Oh, you're right. Mm, I'm not going to get five points from privateering, though. <laughs> Plus one. <laughs> Sending privateers against Ethiopia. Yeah. <laughs> kind of what we expected. Are we even making more money? 10.3 Technically, yes. Okay, you know what? Sure, let's privateer their node. <laughs> Stupid. Do I even have the money to start a colony? Nah, but I'm going to. Best thing about the free company is you just slap it down on a colony. You're chilling. South Atlantic, Pog. Hey, look at us go. Look at us go, chat. 
We're doing it. This should be no problem for us. Okay, Southern Africa, baby. That's good. So what we really want is just fill out the entire coast. Block the Europeans from settling like any of that. As much as possible. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Uh, we do what we can. Okay, what range do we have? We can go down to here. We don't have that much money. I would really like to set down another colony, but this one is trade power, so it's not bad. The thing is, it's going to take a while. And to fix that, we need to like really rush through expansion. So we're doing the best we can with what we have. But yeah, once we invade these guys, oh my god. Uh, yeah, how about we get rid of some of the, um, yeah, let me grab a claim there. Remove the, uh, military access. Once we invade these guys and we get the gold, colonization is gonna be rapid. Yeah, no, we can't form any country at all. Okay, what do we want? I don't think aggressive expansion is necessarily a big deal for us. So we're going to start with... We don't have time for this to be effective. We'll go with war reps. Yeah, we don't have enough time for this to actually, like, do anything. It might do, like, one colony. Maybe two. Uh, it's not very much. I think I'd rather war taxes. Saving money is kind of big for us. I go for a humiliate war against Ethiopia? Uh, not really. Not a fantastic idea or anything. Colonial dev's not worth anything for us. We get like maybe three dev, maybe. Money is uh, a little, little more important at the moment. And we're not done expanding, chat. We have so much more to do. We're only temporarily not at war. Yeah, chat saying mistake when I don't take the most useless thing possible. Sorry, guys. Right, um, yeah, let's throw that on. Take that, all that. It's good. Okay, that is some money. Also, I should probably accept Swahili. Let me think about that. It's only tax. Tax and a bit of manpower. No, it's not worth it. We need to tech up. Almost out of water, too. You're a great power? No. We need to beat Muscovy first.
Yeah, we are. We're converting as fast as we can right now. Which is not very fast. Uh, Pog? Yes, we want faster colonies. As fast as possible. Finish this. Uh, hopefully that gives us range to get to, like, here or here, maybe? Hopefully this. So we can start colonizing that. Yeah, we have some rebels. Antimorian. Is, uh, why is it always these guys? Every single time it's these guys. Every time there's some issue, it's always those guys. Why is Mosa not in range? I don't know what to tell you. That's just how it is, man. <laughs> Maybe it's the mountainous terrain. <laughs> uh, top option always seems to be most effective. Okay, religious unity is all right. Land maintenance? We're not even spending that much, but maybe... Maybe not a bad idea. Stab cost is okay, but... Realistically, let's think about what we need right now. Like... It would be nice to have more religious unity. But is that what we need right now? Or do we need more money so we can rush down more colonists, so we can shut off the Europeans from the Cape. I'm thinking it's it's going to be money. Money, I think, is going to be our biggest priority. More unity means fewer rebels means more money. You know, in theory, yeah, but in, like in reality, rebels are going to be like provinces with plus 15, you know? Like, the, the difference we get from this, sorry, from this, 0.87 is not going to save any of these rebels from popping up, you know? Like, they're still going to pop up. You know, our, our reformed civil society is saving us from the, um, from the corruption. So we're kind of fine. Yeah, I'll take the maintenance. I'll take the maintenance because realistically we don't stab up that often. And also because the unrest and corruption change will be negligible from taking the other one. So, in other words, uh, we don't care. Truce with Melindi. Okay, we do need to invade this guy soon. Kind of just have to deal with rebels first, though. Please rise up. All right, hear me out. Early game perma truce breaks cheat to win. Real. I believe I haven't thought of that. Huge, massive. This guy is proving to be one of the greatest leaders we could have ever gotten. Ah, Inquisitor's dead, but we do get a second one. Let's go, baby. <laughs> we get to keep going. That's the Kowalski way.
Come on, please rise up. Either of you, actually. You know what? Yeah, you just... Just stop. Yeah, just, just stop, actually. Actually, I think it would be better if we do that. Yeah. Hmm, never mind. What about that? Ah, oh, really? At the same time? This game hates me, man. Wait, you didn't even rise up here. This is the highest dev. Oh, I guess we... I guess... Just by standing on this... We must have reduced it to below... Uh... Below zero. So it was no longer part of the, the set of provinces which count. So even though it was highest dev... Okay, yeah, I see. I see. Ultimately, not that bad. Trade efficiency? Pog? No, you have no money. Stop that. Forty ducats for tax? I could live with that, I guess. Mmm, I have ideas. Okay, we're chilling. I forgot that we have like much larger loans now, so we can pay less in interest. For that as well. This stack could go literally anywhere, so I'm just gonna wait to see what it's gonna do, because it might walk onto us. If it walks onto us, then we're fine. Well, darn. Well, it's it's actually it's fine because it's Savannah and we won't get the river crossing penalty. We have five maneuver, which means it cancels out the river crossing. Uh, we just need to have more than the other guy, by the way. Oh, hey, Hana. If you hadn't passed a month, it is it would have spawned where you wanted it to. Damn. Watch Corbett have no mercantilism left. Mercantilism's for chumps. What has mercantilism ever done for me? You want- no, you can't have- stop that, okay? I want your money, which means you don't get to have renaissance, okay? I want you weak and sad and pathetic so I can conquer you later. I don't think they understand. Mercantilism edible? Didn't think so. Exactly. Okay, how many rebels do we have left? The Page one, the Sophalan ones. And we have a lot of rebels, eh? Kind of a lot. Uh, these guys are done exploring. Just go do stuff, I guess. At least the home islands are rebel free. Uh, by force. <laughs> Bankruptcy. <laughs> look at look point at him and laugh. <laughs> look at this idiot bankrupt. Did you accept any culture? Cause that's too many rebels, I think. 
too many rebels. No such thing. Mm, we still have a royal marriage, which I don't like. Okay, we're going to switch gears a little bit. Well, not that much. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to insult this guy. In fact, we're going to change to hostile. We're going to warn him. We're going to insult him. We're going to make him hate us. And we're going to get a spy network, too. Do that. I'm going to make them hate us, and, and the reason for that is because I want them to break the royal marriage. Yeah, if the AI is just seething with anger at you, there's a pretty high chance they're going to break the royal marriage for you. You turn Killua fetishist too? Oh my god, pointed him and laughed, chat. All right, let's go uh, get some more galleys. Maybe not in there. Build a few in here. Here, here. One more for good luck. Trash kill was so hard they abandoned Allah. Dude, what do you even do with these provinces? Trade station, I guess? Whatever, uh, give me money. That's fine. Gems in this province? Uh, based? Wait. No, it's a war crime. That's fine. <clears throat> Never mind. Thinking back to a, a strategy, I remember uh, someone just went ahead and cleared out every province to make it easier to colonize without having to maintain maintenance. But uh, never mind, never mind. We're fine. The free company is fine there. What tech are you? Six. Can I grab tech seven in a few months? Yeah. You have ten thousand people. Eight thousand. You have eight thousand people. What? Okay, whatever. Hmm. It's a lot of separatists, eh? It's uh, it's quite a lot. It's kind of a lot. Okay, here, here's the, here's the deal. Here's the deal, chat. Yeah. <laughs> Probably been streaming all day. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit. Okay, we've been streaming for a while. It's like 4:30. I have a meeting for a group project in like half an hour. <laughs> yeah, I should probably stop streaming. I'll solve that issue by always taking the peace with natives option or however it's called. Partly for the fact I don't gotta bother with maintaining armies, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, yeah, sometimes, sometimes the plus 20 global settler increase is really good. Just saying. 20 global settler increase? That's like... That's huge for us. That's like an entire idea in expansion. Like, that's... Pretty big. Anyway. Also, show us player map mode? I mean, it's... It's pretty much this. <laughs> it's like the same thing, but with this guy, right? You can get policies and government reform later. Oh yeah, I don't even think I've been uh, colony maxing.
Isn't there another thing to take? I really wish I could like check, you know, instead of having to take something away, I wish I could just briefly check what other policies we could take, but no, I have to take something away just to check. Yeah, I think it is a clergy privilege. I might unironically get rid of development of temples. No, I'm, if I'm going to get rid of something, it's going to be oversight of the clergy. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. I feel like it's more than that. It's uprising chance as well. Yeah. Minus 50% uprising chance is pretty good. 50% assimilation is pretty good. That's 100% assimilation. Uh, and by the way, assimilation is actually a really good, really good modifier. Uh, if you don't understand how assimilation works, we can really, like, really, really briefly go over it before I have to leave. Um, basically, okay, you see how in the bottom left here, 3,000 natives gives plus 0 0.15 goods produced? Uh, that gets added after you finish the colony. So, keep that in mind. Um, each 1,000 gives you 0 0.05, right? Now, each production development gives you 0 0.2. That means if you can get 0 0.2 goods produced from assimilation, that's basically one extra Diplo dev. Not completely, right? Because Diplo dev does other things, but also same amount of goods produced, right? What that means is if we can increase it by 100%, this province basically gets like a free one and a half Diplo dev in terms of goods produced, which is not bad as far as that goes. Now, if you plan on, if you plan on removing the inhabitants first, then there's no point. But if you're in a place that has a lot, like take for example, uh, not these places, but look at that 7,000 over here, 5,000 here, 5,000, 7,000 here. An additional 100% is looking at, like, you know, 0.7, which is like three and a half Diplo dev clicks, right? That's pretty good. It's pretty good to get assimilation for that. Plus, don't we have a thing for assimilation, or am I crazy? Maybe not. I think the policy for exploration expansion does, though. No, it doesn't. Hmm. I think it used to. I think it used to, and now it, it gives a uh, settler chance instead. Not to mention, if we take the minus 50% uprising chance, and we also take the privilege here, then we actually make it so that there are no more uprisings. So we get... Uh, it's until it... You know, it's for 20 years, Doesn't it's until it's gone, right? We can just keep on taking it. Um, but that pretty much gives you 0% uprising chance. As well as the assimilation. Which means you never have to fight anybody. You still get to keep your plus 20 settlers. And you get a bunch of assimilation. At this point, you can just choose between more assimilation or more, uh, more settler increase. So, I'm going to take that. It's pretty good. Plus, it allows us to take this. That's really funny. <laughs> we need exploration ideas for it. That is super funny. Okay, well, we will be taking exploration as the next idea group. That is super funny. Okay, uh, we have a bit of money, but not a lot. So, we're going to leave things off for today, I think. I think that's going to be it. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to go ahead and close that. We're pretty much done for today. I don't know when the next stream will be. Someone asked, uh, hold on, let me change monitors for that. 
So someone asked when the next stream would be, and honestly, I'm not entirely sure. Depends on the, the work schedule this week for me. And also, uh... Let me think about that. So, <clears throat> I think... I think this week I'm gonna have quite a lot to do for like one class. Today I have stuff to do for a class. Let me just go through each day. So today I have stuff to do still. Monday, tomorrow. Tomorrow I definitely have stuff to do. Tuesday's class. Wednesday. Wednesday I have to record, I think. Thursday's class. Friday's... I don't know, maybe editing. Saturday is going to be an Imperator Rome stream for uh, the official unofficial Imperator Rome day. Keep your eye out for that. <laughs> then I'm thinking... Sunday is going to be a video release. Nope. Saturday is going to be a video release and a stream. Sunday's not going to be anything. Maybe Sunday. I could I could definitely consider Sunday. I don't think it could be a long stream. I think there's there's definitely more stuff I still have to do this week, but Yeah, so next stream definitely Saturday, Imperator Rome. Next stream for this is maybe Sunday, possibly maybe uh tight schedule and all that i mean i could try to stream in like the evenings not a lot of people are around for the evenings like i could stream at like 8 p.m but all the europeans are asleep at that point imperator here on twitch here for sure imperator rome stream youtube saturday time not yet decided probably after i release the video again <laughs> All right, chat. So definitely Saturday. That's what I would say. Video and, and, and stream. And then, who knows, Sunday. Uh, I'll think about it tonight while I'm making the schedule. But until then, have a wonderful rest of your of your Sunday, of your weekend, I suppose. Uh, don't worry too much about Monday. You'll be chilling. And, I don't know, stay hydrated. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later, guys. Bye, bit.